Hi everyone, welcome back on Snowkiss, and this is another episode in our series of Urban Empire. Um, yeah, so we are pretty much where I left you off last time. I, I mean, there's been a world war, and we lost that one. And there's been another world war, and we lost that catastrophically. So now we are essentially the court of size that we were before. But you know, Austrian ambition and stuff. Hopefully, revanchism means that we can use the EU to create a new Reich, even though that's Hitler's German idea, but still. No, um, nothing has happened really. I haven't really done much. Um, it's cool to see the little train coming in here. Fortunately, it's o only ever one train, which it was. This is fucking weird, by the way. This is the farthest I can um, scroll down uh, on the map. If I zoom in, I can't, I can't move down more than this. So this means a bunch of stuff. Okay, this means. The center screen is locked here, and not that I, c I can't look here. It's simply this is just in the periphery, and I can't actually move down to that space. Space if I zoom in, I'm not sure if I, I'm getting my point to but hopefully you, you're getting it. Um, what I'm saying is this game, fun as it is, it has some glaring uh, design flaws, frankly, which is uh, unfortunate because I really do like the game. The knowledge of how to capture re reality on a sheet of paper has reached the city officials. Do you want to... Well, I first of all want to educate him on the, the virtue of um, Photoshop, because it obviously isn't the ability to capture reality. Not always, anyway. But other than that, um, we should make the ma mayoral, mayoral portrait. Um, should now be a photographs. We gained the progressive trait and we lost some support from the physiocrats but frankly if you can't <laughs> if you can't um, come to terms with a camera I mean what the hell can you come to terms with what oh, pose what the hell what what are what are children on the tent supposed to do otherwise I mean of course they, they gotta work we, we can't have drifters working in the streets Just make sure that I voted the right way here now. Ban heavy work for uh, under 10 year olds. So th there's a clear possibility that we're gonna lose this because there's only one party opposed to it and they're barely op opposed to it. But let's uh, let's try it. Let's try and um, the national the NSP are uh, quite fond of us still. So let's try to uh, do it like this. What is your opinion in the city council? It didn't work <laughs> at all. Okay, uh, the physiocrats then. Uh, I'm gonna threaten you then. Um, that actually worked somewhat. And these guys are not too fond of me, but they are really fond of this. So we might be able to convince them somewhat. I'm gonna come back uh, in here in a, in a few months and see if I can convince them some more. And I mean, in worst case scenario, we get, I mean, get less workers, I suppose, which isn't great for the economy, but. It will mean that most, more kids will go to school, so we will, we will get more brain points, whatever it's called, brain power. Anyway, so that's, um, it's not the end of the world, really. Um, a lot of people dying. Oh, right, the clinic. Uh, do we have clinics yet? We have clinics. Have I built a clinic anywhere? I completely forgot about that. Christ, we got a grammar school, a church, a police station, and a vocational school. All right, that's perfect. Let's build a clinic in um, Hackthorne. And let's rename it to Hackthorne because I have a, I have a distinct feeling that... Um, this district is gonna be inhabited by quite a lot of hacks now that it's gonna uh, they're gonna um, claim that you really need to vaccinate your children and I mean we all know how freaking fake that is total fake news we have the best news here in Filsenten and the hacks torn they can keep their hacks which propose a lot of vaccinations and stuff if they want their kids to be um, Good. Uh, if they want their kids to be not good but uh, autistic, then fair dues. They can do that, but I don't. I'm not gonna let them force me to it. 
again with this labor union bonanza. That's not really a negative term, but still. I mean, come on, get over it. The masses have no idea what they're asking for. Form labor unions. We already have the Democrats on our side. Let's get the national guys on our side. How about the man? Most supportive view. Still not enough. And we're gonna demand this. We may be able to shift the shift the thing there. Bad heavy work. Can we we can interact again? You know that the city really needs this. We really need those ten year olds to be able to shift that. I don't know, really know what it is they do. I think they screw like a thing in the um, the engine of the train when it goes through the snow. Uh, we really need them to do that, all of them. So. Um, And we're gonna win this perfect. I'm gonna ask the. Eh. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> As you can see, um, probably haven't explained this either, but you have an overall um, part support thing, which um, decreases. As your goodwill with the parties decreases, isn't it? as I as you saw, I pretty much lost goodwill with pretty much all the parties, so they are gonna be pissed for a little while. But hopefully, it'll go up soon, especially by the next election. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, uh, your son Gideon has grown up to be a strong young man and skilled in various arts, from musketry to noble manners. He has, on the whole, been obedient, but now he is about to cause a disgrace. He's taken a liking to the merchant's daughter and says he will marry her. Of course, this is out of the question. When the time comes, you will be you will find him a suitable wife of noble origins. You must proceed quickly to prevent further shame. I agree. I agree. Young people have no idea what they want anyway. I mean, it's not really the turn of the century, so I can't really call them millennials, but um I don't know. Younglings. The young generation have no idea how good they have it. Have it. When I was young, I walked. Um, um, just a second. I'm gonna make sure to win this. When I when I was um, a young person, <laughs> that's what they call nowadays a young person, not a kid or a teen or a child. We, uh, I walked uphill to work. And I was under 10 years old, every day, and every <laughs> in both directions. So, um, yeah. And you know what? I um, I talked to um, Plato, and he agrees. He agrees. This is like um, 200 years, several thousand years ago, already. Uh, Socrates, <laughs> Socrates, agreed with me. Uh, young people, young people just don't know how good they have it, and. Um, I laughed there because I, I, I pretty much threw out every uh, Greek philosopher there, are, there is out there. Yeah, anyway, uh, okay, so our economy is doing badly, and that's because of our clinic. Okay, accusation of deceit. Members of the uh, physiocratic party think you are deceitful. How do you defend yourself? I have nothing to hide. And that's true. I mean, that's, that's entirely true. Are we gonna win these two? We are gonna win this one, and we are gonna win this one. So yeah, no worries. Perfect, perfect. By the way, this is uh, the fifth uh, video I'm um, recording in uh, one uh, session. So uh, if my mind is starting to wander and saying weird stuff, I I apologize. But you know how it is. Or maybe you don't, so you'll just, uh, you'll just have to take my word for it, I suppose. Alright, uh, 10 euros first of all, and we're gonna win this. Good, get them ba get those bastards back in the factory. Sorry for hitting the mic occasionally. Good. No, this one, which is gonna win as well. We believe in a free market. A free market uh, dominated by the aristocracy. The aristocratic inherited wealth of the rightful families that and elites that should control this nation. This glorious colony of Svarelia, Kaiserschaffen's Svarelia. Svarelian Kaiserschaffen. Whatever. And um, 
if the workers aren't happy, they should just, uh, I mean, take another job. Nothing stopping them from stop working. I mean, if they then uh, starve, then that's their own decision. Uh, I mean, they do have a choice here. If they don't want to work, they don't have to work, and then they have to face the um, repercussions of those uh, decisions. Questions of nationalism. There is a serious disagreement inside the National Swarelian Party. The radical young Swarelians want Swarelia to demand full independence, but the conservative old Swarelians find this too radical and are content with autonomy. What do you think? Suppose Support the old Swarelians? Uh, young Swarelians pose no danger. You dislike both. I mean, I do dislike both, just like I dislike everyone, because they're all uppity um, lower classes, but... Um, yeah, let's uh, gain some independence, shall we? Have the parties actually sp split? Because I think it is in the next era, and um, the Svarelian party actually split into the old and young party. One being right wing and one being left wing. So that's kind of cool. Photography is a tough life. You can be taken, framed, exposed, shot, captured, and hung. All no matter what you think day. of photography or this game or um, I mean quotes in general, this is a quite clever quote. Um, I actually really appreciate it. It's a nice, um, nice way to phrase it. We're still in the, era, the first era, but I'm I'm still gonna go for Statue Mania. And when we do once. While we do that, I'm gonna check what photography does. It does give it does give us the ability to build theaters. So let's see if we can build we can build a theater for all of the elitist or the more fine folk in our city. <clears throat> I'm sure. Um, I mean, the lower classes are welcome as well, of course, um, as long as they work hard enough to to afford a ticket. The lazy fox. No offense, Edgeworth. No offense. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, Nationalist second revolutions era. sweep across Europe. Calls for representation, freedom of press, and abandonment of multicultural empires echo through the streets from Paris nice. to Vienna. Nice, cool. Um, holy shit. Okay, so we got a we got a new um, a new leader here, the son of our last leader, Simeon von Pilsen. Son of Gerbert, Simeon, or Gerbert, Simeon of von Pilsen followed his, in his father's footsteps, becoming even more stubborn and ruthless. Although, under pressure from his family to produce an heir, his marriage prov proved childless. With the wars prohibited by his Catholicism, Simeon took out his increasing frustration on his wife, Maria. Or Maria. Miraculously, one day, a child appeared, as bestowed by God. Simeon quickly crushed rumors of infidelity or adoption with an unpleasant fate for those found spreading them. That sounds good. I mean, a real swell guy, that. I really like the mustache. Um, cruel, cynical, pessimist, and still the Emperor Somenis. I guess, I'm guessing it's the next era in which we can be deselected. So now um, the city is going to increase the demands from uh, the Wheel of Life. Stupid name. Um, so let's look at the changes in here. So as you can see, we now have four parties, and it, there's only gonna get more, become more and more parties the longer we play. So that's kind of interesting. Adds complexity, and I'm actually gonna try to be nice to pretty much every party so that we um, don't get uh, deselected when the time comes. The physiocrats still uh, alive and well, alive and kicking. Uh, Sixty members. Young Swirlian Party, 15 members. So YSP and the OSP, 15 members. And Free Democratic Party, 15 members. So um, still looking good, I think. And this is a bit funny. We have negative demand for everything. I'm just gonna deal with this and then I'll show you. Welcome to your office, Simeon. It's time to take your father's place as the mayor of Kaiserschaffen. You gaze through the window of the city hall down the streets where men and women, nobles and commoners go about their business. What is it that troubles you the most? How to preserve the God-given God or the God-given order? How to preserve the empire? 
or nothing. I suppose, God give an order. Goodwill removed and decreased with the free democratics, the, the democrats, uh, goodwill increased with the physiocrats, and, uh, and we gained some Ludite points, which is good. We are walking in our father's footsteps, which is the way to go, because no one wants to make any progress or change anything up. Tradition and following uh, your father's footsteps and and generally your elders footsteps is the way to go Yeah, right, and we have negative three industrial um, demand might be because we're in a bust right now in a recession We actually got a positive commercial demand which um, When I read this I think it was uh, negative might have, saw, saw, might have seen it wrong though and Residential demand is also negative. So I suppose we need to cre create some commercial demand, but only one demand isn't that big, so not really that important. A new councillor, Carl Siegler from the Young Sorelian Party, has caused a problem in the council. Every new councillor must wear an oath of allegiance by God, but this, but Siegler has refused, refused on account of being an atheist. He is demanding an oath that doesn't involve God. As the mayor, you can decide if the council can let him have a different oath. Sure, he can swear allegiance only by the Emperor, I suppose. Which did um, increase our standing by the, with the young Swirelians, but decrease it with the old Swirelians, which is fine. And we've actually increased our our um, party um, support to, well, neutral, zero. So we should be able to at least bribe ourselves into um, being able to still uh, uh, staying in the mayor's chair. And now in the new era it seems, or maybe it was uh, one of the texts, um, the vocational school and the grammar school is giving us brain power. So it's good to uh, have built, built both of those. <clears throat> Poppadoms. Um, I was thinking of something, I've forgotten it. But that's fine I think. We are having a budget deficit. Not a big deal, frankly. Uh, because kind of small and it's gonna grow when our city goes. We do have a city of um, two and a half thousand members, uh, citizen. Let's call the old Swirelian party a bunch of fools and hopefully the young ones can get some uh, benefit out of that so we can maybe get some independence. Right, I was gonna talk about this. Um, when I played my first game, I played, um, as I explained in an earlier video, a more of a communist or socialist, um, or at least social democratic, sympathizing game um, with a family that was very working class. And I had a really hard time at the beginning, and I'm thinking that maybe as time goes by, I would have had an easier time, because uh, over time, like, progress went, well, progress progressed, uh, naturally. So um, I suppose that would have, been, would have been easier, while playing as a... Um, aristocratic and um, conservative as I'm doing now, it might be that I'm having an easier time now in the beginning and I'm going to ha have a harder time as uh, as it goes on. Hopefully that's the case, because it would provide a bit of a dynamic, uh, like, dynamic uh, factor to the game, I guess. I'm going to guess that not, the election didn't change that much. Uh, that seems to be the, the nature of things. Holy shit, the Young Swirelians lost quite a lot. Okay, so the Free Democrats and the Physiocratic actually gained quite a lot of members. Let's uh, see if we can't... ...institute uh, um, some new um, edicts. Alcohol licensing, we should get. Ban prostitution, we should get. Safety authorities, we should get. I don't really understand this, but apparently regulating gambling, I mean, I, I understand what the right wing would be against that, but I don't understand what the authoritarians would be against that. But alright, ban gambling. That's much more authoritarian. Alright, uh, sounds good. Let's... It's gonna decrease our fun, which is really low to begin with, but it is gonna increase our uh, health and our security. So, sure, I mean, we do need... 
something to vote on. And it is in our favor because the physiocrats, the huge fucking party, is on our side in this matter. So uh, let's simply let that tick on, shall we? And while we let that tick on, uh, why, don't, why don't we let it tick on in another episode? Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been great having you. It's been 20 minutes now, so the episode is up. Leave a like if you want to see more of this and if you want to see me ban gambling. Uh, press dislike if you want me to not ban gambling and maybe even legalize it fully. I mean, leave a dislike if you want me to legalize weed. Leave a dislike if you want Obama to be president again. And yeah, please subscribe if you want to see more of me, if you want to see my videos in your inbox, in your subscription feed, or if you simply want to support me, which you don't even have to necessarily watch all my videos. Simply subscribing is a huge support and I would appreciate it. Sorry for um, pestering you about it, but it really is kind of have to in the, this YouTube world. Anyway, uh, have a good time. I've been a great honor uh, having you watch my videos and um, hopefully you have as much fun watching it as I, as I have had playing it. So, bye.